There's two things, a piece of legislation that you should be aware of that are that are going uh, on right now. One is that the Republicans are looking to pass what ostensibly sounds like a um, an, a, a, an attempt to uh, regain authority for Congress. Um, and that is uh, Senator Mike Lee is drafting some type of legislation for Congress ostensibly to uh, uh, claw back the emergency powers that the Congress has given to the president. But the fact is that Congress doesn't need to do that. Congress could prevent um, President uh, Trump from from getting the money to build this wall by taking it from things like the military pension, et cetera, et cetera. But they're not going to do that because they're so afraid of Donald Trump. What they are going to do is fashion a piece of legislation that allows Donald Trump to do it this one time but will prevent future presidents from uh, doing it when there is a Democratic uh, uh, president. Um, I don't know if that's going to succeed, but <clears throat> it is an attempt to head off uh, Republicans who are voting uh, to limit the president's ability to do this. Meanwhile, there's another piece of a legislation that is called the Cradle Act. And essentially what this is, is a piece of legislation that is aimed, I think, at destroying Social Security. The biggest failure in pensions in, uh, in 30 or 40 years has been the experiment to do um, 401ks. These are not defined benefit pensions, but defined contribution uh, pensions. In other words, you get to pay in a certain amount. And the, the problem with these are that, one, people have access to this money. They pull it out in times of emergency rather than saving. Two, they don't contribute in the first place. So the way that they want to undercut Social Security is by making it an ineffective social insurance. This is what social insurance is. You cannot access this money until the triggering event happens. <laughs> cannot pay in to <laughs> fire insurance and pull the money out because I haven't gotten, uh, there hasn't been a fire in my house. And then if a fire comes, I have no home and I have no ability to get, uh, to get, an, to, to get another home. This is what they want to do. And they're couching it as if it's providing flexibility for uh, people as opposed to addressing the needs that people have in real time. I think most people would look at this as an opportunity that they might not otherwise have. An opportunity to benefit from uh, payments that they've been making already for years. Why is the U.S. so far behind the rest of the industrialized world on this issue? Well, I think that is a really great question. And that's why we have decided now is the time to step up and really do something about this. We think it's time to catch up with other countries. What? The, what I, like, I don't even know. Like the. This is, there is the idea that this is somehow us catching up to other countries to allow people to raid their, because the, the question is, uh, questioning this in terms of like, you know, leaving for paternal, I mean, uh, for uh, maternal or paternal uh, leave uh, or other, you know, sort of events like this where we as a nation do not provide support for people in that way. Our guest in Holland, they, of course, they do this. They do this in Germany. They do it throughout Europe. They give you paid vacation when you uh, have a, a loved one that is ill. You get paid vacation or time off uh, with the maternity and paternity leave. We're not catching up because we're raiding the, our retirement pensions, our retirement insurance. Insurance that says, I'm going to pay into this as a society to make sure that we're not uh, leaving our elderly in poverty. That's what this is. That's what we're insuring against. We're insuring against massive rates of poverty for our elderly. We're insuring against burdens that would be placed on children of parents who might be living in poverty. We are, that is what we're doing, to raid that and allow people to raid that as opposed to just as a government. If we think this is an important value, to support people when they take time off to be a mother or a father or they take time off to care for a loved one, we should fund it. 
because the rest of the world does. 